y'all already know it's about that time again. It's about that time. We gotta do it. I recently moved from Los Angeles back to Arizona where I'm from and when I left my LA apartment, I have never been more thrilled and excited to say goodbye to a closet situation in my life. Our closet in LA was a two square foot area of the house that had one bar that was falling off the wall. When I moved into this amazing house, we have a huge closet in the main bedroom and I'm so excited because I have so much room to put stuff. But one thing that I always notice when it's time to start purging my closet and let go of things that I'm not wearing often or that don't fit anymore, or whatever. It's when I start running out of hangers when I'm doing my laundry and then I run out of hangers and I'm like, oh yeah, it's time. So that's what I'm gonna do here today. You know, my job includes a lot of clothing, a lot of ordering. I do a lot of like giving to friends and family, donating, but I really do like selling my items online because it makes it a lot easier and you know where it's going and then it doesn't end up in a landfill. And someone else then gets to make amazing memories in the clothes that you once made amazing memories in. So I'm gonna go through my closet. Apologies in advance for the terrible lighting. It's pretty, pretty brutal. But we're gonna do the best we can and see what we can get rid of. So let's get started. All right, so in case you don't watch my vlog channel and you've never seen it before, hello, welcome to my closet. This closet is a dream. There's literally so much space. I don't know what to do with it. However, like I said, I have just more stuff than I can ever wear. I've realized that, you know, I'm definitely a maximalist when it comes to my wardrobe, but I either grow out of things or I get things like at the thrift store or whatever that I'm like, oh, but it's so cheap or it's on sale or, it would be cute with blah 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 but like I haven't worn it yet or I really like rarely wear it so I guess I'll start with like shirts here and then we have some dresses we have some like fall and winter stuff jackets and then we have pants down here and hopefully we will get rid of a lot of stuff if you aren't following me on my Poshmark make sure you check it out I'll link it in the description box below a lot of this stuff is gonna end up on there maybe some of it on Depop which is always linked down below as well but I really am gonna try to do like a, a Marie Kondo-esque state of mind like genuinely does this make me feel joyful when was the last time i wore it etc so starting with shirts can i also just say how much easier this is than digging my way through my last closet shoving myself in a space like this big and then also like digging under my beds and clothing racks to find clothes yeah it's a lot easier okay so starting with shirts i knew that this was the first shirt we were going to start with and i okay here's the thing i love this shirt it's a cute ass shirt my boobs hang out the bottom of it even if I'm wearing a bra like it just comes up too high on me and I really don't ever wear it like I've worn it for Instagram photos and like vlogs around the house and stuff and I love it I got it from thread up I think it's supposed to go with like a matching skirt but it looks really cute with denim shorts and stuff but it's just not long enough I have a really long torso oh I'm already getting rid of the first thing <laughs> but I think I need to part ways with it because even though it's literally my exact color scheme and it's so beautiful it's just like the second I eat even slightly lift up my arms it's like my whole bra is showing or my whole tit so I think it's gonna have to go I'm really sad okay next we have a couple of camis this cami is really pretty it was actually gifted to me by Jasmine Whitley I did a video on her channel where she styled me for a week or like styled me in a bunch of different outfits and it's really cute I do like it but I don't really have anywhere to wear it and I feel like maybe someone else would like it so I'm thinking of donating it mm, you know what I'm gonna hold on to it maybe for a little longer that's usually my problem this is a super cute tank top i think i got this at express but again it's like i don't really go anywhere fancy like tucked into some jeans with some cute booties would be adorable like a little jacket leather jacket moment i don't know maybe <laughs> Maybe I'll hang on to that. I don't plan on um, wearing anything like that anytime soon, but we'll see. Keeping, 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 keeping. These two Madewell shirts are adorable. I've gotten a good amount of wear out of both of them. I think, I'm pretty sure I got both of these thrifted. Or maybe I bought this one in the store and then this one I definitely got on Poshmark. I remember that. And they're both adorable. Like I really like having cute shirts to wear. I might keep this one because like tucked into some jeans, it's actually like a pretty cute moment. It reminds me of <laughs> 
I'm sad. It reminds me of a picture that I took with my friends on the beach in Venice back in like December. It was such a fun day. This one can be passed on to someone else who's gonna love it and wear it more than I do. So, okay, go to your new home. Goodbye. I will never get rid of this. This is a thrifted guest shirt. It's a vintage guest top. It's like super cute off the shoulder. I go through it every time. I don't really wear it that much, but it's just cute as hell. This can stay. This can stay. These two can go. This is a top that I think I got on thread up or maybe Poshmark or something and I had an idea to like tuck it into some jeans and wear it as like a dad shirt but it's a size large and I would actually kind of prefer an extra large so I'm gonna get rid of that one. This top is from Madewell. It's sort of like a off the shoulder like button up top. It'd be really cute tucked in. I got this about a year ago on Poshmark I want to say maybe and I've never worn it so it's gonna go. There's also dust flying around everywhere which just goes goes to show that I have not worn real clothes in a very long time. This can stay. I get so many questions about this shirt. It is from Express. It is just like a basic long sleeve, slightly flared tie up, kind of like DIY crop top type of thing. You like pull on this to make it shorter. It's from Express and it's the best. This is a Coca-Cola shirt that I got at the bins in Orange County. I love like a ringer tee. It's not very thick. I do wish that it was like a thicker border around the outside. It's a cute shirt, but again, it needs to be rehomed. <laughs> And then we're into my t-shirts. Okay, I have a lot of t-shirts. I already have so many more hangers now. This is amazing. This Nirvana tee, I actually kind of like shit on when I first got it because it was in a vintage like mystery box and this isn't vintage. It's from H&M, but I've actually kind of grown to like it. So I'm gonna hang on to it. The mountain shirts that I have are like a moment in time for sure, but like, do I still wear them? Not really. I'm gonna keep it. Once a horse girl, always a horse girl. <laughs> I've literally never worn this. I got this from Nasty Gal back over the summer before I learned about their scandal and just sort of their shady practices. So I've never actually worn this and I think someone else should. It's an amazing shirt. It's got Fleetwood Mac rumors on it. I also forgot to mention that I have an insane amount of clothing in the other room in my filming area, my office, because I just filmed a couple fashion videos. So a lot of that stuff's missing, but that's okay because I'm gonna keep all that stuff. Next, we're gonna move on to dresses. I have quite a few dresses. If I'm being perfectly honest, dresses kind of make me not feel so great right now, like especially short dresses. I like maxis, even middies, but like my shorter dresses, I just don't feel my most confident self in at the moment, so I feel like I might need to part ways with a lot of those. Sometimes my bike shorts stick out the bottom and like they're never long enough, and so now I've kind of switched more to like midi and maxi, so I'm gonna see what we have here because I have like quite a bit of stuff. This is a romper that I every single time I clean out my closet and say I'm gonna keep. Every time I look at it, I'm like, this is so cute. It's from Nasty Gal. I got it like over a year, maybe two years ago. It's adorable, it's off the shoulder, but the tags are literally still on it and I've never worn it. I can't wear bike shorts under a romper anyway, so mm-mm, mm-mm. We're all about comfort these days. For these two dresses, I apparently ordered like two of the same exact dress. Not really, I mean, but they're really similar. I haven't tried this one on, but I do really like this one. I definitely feel like I need to choose between the two because you don't need two of the same green dress. Ah, uh, you know what? I need to try it on first. <laughs> adorable dress, nowhere to wear it. Adorable dress, nowhere to wear it. Adorable dress, nowhere to wear it. <laughs> These all can go. Although they're super cute, I just literally, I've had them for four months. I haven't even thought or considered wearing one of these one time and it's just like they're just taking up space in my closet so <laughs> one two three four five dresses seriously <laughs> i'm sad but i'm also like happy at the same time now we're into sweaters actually all of my sweaters pretty much are downstairs like packed away so i only have like a few in here so definitely keeping this one hmm this one's okay. I thrifted it maybe like last year. Actually, I think I thrifted this in Hawaii. It's an Abercrombie sweater and it's yellow. It's cute, but every time I wear it, I'm just kind of like, meh. This does not fit me anymore. Need to get a new black turtleneck this year. If you've watched my closet to declutter videos before, you might know that I love flannels. I wear so many flannels, but honestly, the amount of flannels I have versus the amount of flannels I need or wear is not very current. Um, I used to wear a flannel every single time I went to Disneyland, which was usually like once a week, honestly. In California specifically, it does get a little bit chillier at night than it does here. So like, I just had more of 
an opportunity to wear these, but this one, not gonna be able to wear it. This one, cute, but I already have a red one I like. This one is really cute. It reminds me of Cher from Clueless. It's from Wild Fable, actually, but it's a size large, and I'm more of like an extra large these days. I'm pretty sure I got it on Poshmark, and it's probably gonna go back on Poshmark. I've had this flannel for literally ever. What size is it? A size large from Forever 21. This one's gonna go. It's just way too small. And then this one I have talked about in every single closet to color video. This is a flannel that Drew used to wear to work when we worked together in like 2009, 2010. And I'm never gonna get rid of it. I love it. Now we're on to crew necks. Now, okay, I need to prepare myself for this. Crew necks are a weakness of mine. I am very, very aware of the fact that I have entirely too many crew necks. I used to wear a crew neck every single day in Los Angeles because we kept our apartment so cold. So all I wore when we lived in LA, especially during quarantine, was a different crew neck every single day. So like it made sense then, but I, I think I've worn it one time since we moved here. In the winter, it'll cool off obviously and I'll get to wear sweatshirts more, but it's just for, for where I live at the moment, <laughs> the amount of crew necks that I have is just not justifiable. So this one, staying. This one, adorable, staying. This one I got and I really love the tie-dye on the back of it, but the tie-dye on the front just isn't really there. So I don't know. This is a really cute sweatshirt and I actually have two tie-dyed sweatshirts. So maybe I'll keep this one and donate this one. My folklore crew neck, obviously gonna stay. This University of Oregon, I think I got this at the Rose Bowl, maybe, or the Melrose Trading Post or something. And it's my favorite sweatshirt. I wear it so much that like it's getting really thin. This one I got in... <laughs> If y'all remember the video that I did where I tried, what's it called again? Good Fair, I think it's called. It was a scam, to be honest. And this was the only thing I kept besides a windbreaker. And it's a cool sweatshirt and everything. I do like it. It's definitely like a more vintage-esque. I mean, it's not vintage, it's from like 2002, but I like it. It's just, I feel like there are so many of you who watch my videos that are either like went to this school, going to this school, fans of this school. Is it a school? Or maybe it's just a football team. Either way, I feel like some of them will enjoy it a lot more than I do. This is Kenzie Brenna's merch. It says, I don't want to hear about your diet. Keeping this forever. This friends, I feel like I've even shown this in closet declutter videos before. And I'm like, yeah, I've got to just let go of this. I never wear it. And then I pull it back out of the pile and I'm like, no, 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 I'm going to wear it. And I still haven't worn it. It's originally from Cotton On, but I cropped it. And it's just such a cute crew neck, but I don't really love cropped like sweatshirts anymore so somebody else please enjoy that for me that actually gives me um a little bit of room to hang up my new sweatshirt that i just got in my asos asos god i always say that wrong in my asos haul um i ran out of hangers so go be with your new home this mickey sweatshirt i never even got to wear to disneyland so keeping that keeping my other mickey and keeping my other mickey i have three disneyland sweatshirts okay leave me alone oh i have four just kidding should i part ways with one they're all so cute this one's kind of small no, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. This Tokyo sweatshirt is adorable, but the sleeves are just too short. Like, I love it. I used to wear it all the time. If you watch my Vlogmas videos, I feel like I wore it so much in Vlogmas last year, but it's just a little too small. The sleeves are like to here on me, and I like long sleeves. This is one of my first thrifted crew necks, and it's one of my favorite sweatshirts still to this day. It says 100% grandpa, the man, the myth, the legend. I just love it. I have this poofy jacket that I feel like I'll probably wear this year. I've had it for the last couple of years. This sweater is so adorable and like such a cute fall moment. We're going on a trip this weekend, like a socially distanced trip up in Northern Arizona, like just the two of us. We're not gonna see anyone or anything, but I kind of want to take some cute pictures. So I feel like maybe I'll take this for that. But like, is it a practical sweater that I wear all the time? No, of course not. So like maybe I'll hang on to it for a little longer and then we'll part ways. I've got quite a few denim jackets here. I have this one from I'm misguided. I have this one that's thrifted, this one that's thrifted, this one that's thrifted, and my leather jacket, and then some random clothes over here. What are you? What the heck? These were from a video, I think. All of my jackets I'm actually gonna keep, so last thing to do is pants. Let's see what kind of pants I can get rid of, because I've gathered a lot lately. Okay, we have moved to the floor for this last part. So I have a decent amount of pants and skirts, and I never wear any of them. <laughs> I have a good 
good collection of jeans and I would say if anything I wear a lot of jeans and like a couple pattern pants here and there and maybe a skirt every now and then. I was really into the midi skirt thing for a long time like 2017, 18, 19. I was really really into that and I still am but just not as much so I feel like parting ways with a couple things won't be too bad. So okay starting with jeans I think like literally all these jeans have to stay. Okay actually you know what I think I can part ways with these. These are the Target paper bag mom jeans. These are great but I don't really wear them. Like I don't really have many tops that go with them. I don't really like the way they looked with like a t-shirt. I feel like this was my look maybe like a year or so ago and it's just not as much anymore so I want someone else to enjoy them. Goodbye. Okay, Madewell mom jeans can stay. These American Eagle mom jeans are the same as the light wash denim pair that I have. This is a black pair. I have a lot of black jeans. So I have these from Madewell. They're like a cropped pair. Those are gonna stay. I also have a cropped pair from Wild Fable by Target. And then I also have a thrifted pair of jeans. They're kind of like a more Western style. They don't have pockets on the butt or anything. And so I feel like I just have a lot and I, I haven't worn these in about, I wanna say close to a year. So I feel like these, I could part ways with. They're very cute, but I probably won't even notice they're gone, to be honest. These old navy pants I just got, I love. These wild fable pants are really cute, but I legit never wear them. These Lucy and Yak pants were really cute. They're the strawberry color or watermelon or something, and I love them, but they just don't fit me right. They fit me kind of weird, and I've literally never worn them. They're a hot pink pair of pants. I don't really have anywhere to wear that. This skirt, I always try to get rid of and end up keeping. I don't know why. Like, I'm just attached to it for some reason. I try tried it on and Drew was like, it looks a little big on you. And I was like, it is. And he was like, why wouldn't you get rid of it? And I was like, I don't know. Probably cause like, I don't know if I'm like, if I find the perfect sweater to go with it, it's like a midi skirt, but it's kind of granny-ish too. It's from Wild Fable. I think I thrifted it. It's kind of cute. I'll hang on to it a bit longer. This skirt I'm actually really gutted about, but I got it in England and it's so cute. I got it from New Look, I think. It's an adorable skirt, but I really don't wear it anymore. And it's a little bit snug on me now. So it's like one of my only other things left from London, but it's gotta go. This cow skirt is staying for the time being. It is so fabulous. This was part of a two-piece set that I thrifted a long time ago. It's a maxi skirt and it doesn't really fit anymore. This express one can stay because I always have to have one leopard skirt at all times. This is a velvet maxi skirt that is so beautiful. It's like this burgundy color and I'm pretty sure I have also, during different times of my closet purges, put this in the pile and then grabbed it again so it's finally time to part ways with her. This one I just got on Depop but it's not exactly what I wanted. I had kind of a specific vision for it but it's just not my favorite so gonna resell that. This I got from my video with Sierra. I love this skirt. I'm gonna keep that. Alexa thrifted me that. Alexa thrifted me that. And then I have my two pairs of overalls that I'm gonna keep. Wow! I am feeling so much better but I am staring at this pile of clothes that I need to either don't or resell and I'm a little intimidated but it's gonna be okay. I really love doing this. I just feel so much lighter. I feel like I definitely have like a more kind of narrowed down idea of what I'm looking for when I do get dressed when I have a more manageable wardrobe. You know what I mean? I need to go see how many hangers are hanging over here now because there were zero when we began and now I would say there's like probably close to 50. You guys I just counted and there are exactly 50 hangers hanging right here that were not hanging here this morning when I was putting away my laundry. So I literally parted ways with 50 items of clothing. I am pretty happy about that. Now I will wash and sanitize all of these friends so that they can be ready to join their new homes. And we did it. I would say this was a massive success. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. I love you so, so so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. My Poshmark will be linked down below as I mentioned. I'll be updating sometime in the next like month or so. <laughs> so definitely make sure you're following me over there so you can keep an eye out. I also have a Depop that I will link down below for you. And yeah, I love you all so so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.